a before this video starts, I just want to throw out a huge shout out to Ted Flips for sending Ty all that cool stuff that he will be unboxing and talking about over the course of this and probably next week on Blade Bias. Thank you, Ted. You're awesome. Go give him a follow, Ted Flips on Instagram. On to the video. Enjoy, guys. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Blade Bias. Today, we're going to talk about the oil that makes the world go round, the stuff that keeps your Balasong pivots lubed all the live long day, oil. Oil, a lot of people think, is this crazy objective thing and, oh, this is the best, this is the best. When it turns out that oil is just as subjective as anything else in this hobby, with the only real main differences being the additives that the lube maker uses and the thickness of the lube that you're using. A lot of people will say, oh, Canto Group is so much better than Carbon Honey Thick, or Carbon Honey Thick is so much better than Canto Group. And it's like, they're both kind of the same. There's a few objective differences. Of course, Carbon Honey has the graphene lubricant, which means that once the lube dries, it'll still be lubricating your balisong, and it'll still feel smooth, even though that oil has completely dried up at this point. Uh, and that works very well, which I'll get into when I start talking about that. And then there's Canto's signature like smell that you can, you can get with it. Um, but I want to talk today about the main differences between the two thicknesses, or the, the different thicknesses, I should say, and why you should care because a lot of people are like oh all lube is the same which at the same thickness level you could make that argument yeah in fact i would probably make that argument but yeah let's talk about oil let's just talk about some balisong oil first up we have the thick oil this is the prisma from machine wise that i have just lubed actually i recorded this video once before and i lubed this in that video but i decided to scrap it because i was just rambling for way too long um, this is lubed with the nice oil. You can see it sounds amazing. Thick oil is going to really get into your pivots and fill all the gaps. It's going to make your balisong feel a lot tighter. The tolerances on this Prisma, even though the tolerances on machine wise stuff is already freaking incredible. There was a noticeable difference in the wiggle from when I, before I lubed it to after. Uh, and it also feels a bit slower because there's thick oil in the pivots. There's more friction happening, which means that it's going to slow down the action and swing of your knife. Now, it's not that much. It's not like it's going from, oh, I can flip so fast to I can barely flip at all. But the, the difference is noticeable enough that it's probably the main reason that top flippers don't really like thick oil that much because they can tell such minute differences in how their balisong is flipping, they can feel that slowdown and they just don't really like it very much. Whereas alternatively, some people will use thick oil specifically to slow down their knives because they might feel a bit fast and uncontrollable. I can see it both ways. There have definitely been balisongs that feel better dry and then after I lube it with Canto, I'm like, eh, this doesn't feel the best. It sounds amazing, but it doesn't feel the best because it's that thick oil it's getting in there and it's kind of slowing down the swing just ever so slightly and that if that's not something that you enjoy is where a lower viscosity comes in like carbon honey medium carbon honey medium i use in my nemesis and my kraken trainer because those are two that i would flip dry and then i would lube them and they would just feel like they just wouldn't feel as responsive afterwards and i didn't like that because it's like the Nemesis is my favorite ballast song that I currently have, like, at college. So this is like my performance flipper. Whenever I flip with this, I try and flip to the best of my abilities. I try and flip fast. So I don't really like the Canto oil on it. And that's where Carbon Honey Medium comes in. The graphene additive is really nice because I can let this thing go basically completely dry, but it will still feel smooth. And, of course, I can add the Carbon Honey, which... Medium oil isn't going to help your sound too much, but the Nemesis really benefits from having Carbon Honey in the pivots because it feels and sounds amazing just from putting this in it. This is also a bit anecdotal, but whenever I use Carbon Honey, it always seems to like flush stuff out of the pivots. So I think thinner oil is also like, it kind of just like pushes dirt out, whereas thicker oil is going to attract dirt, last much longer, and cause a lot more goop buildup in your pivots whereas medium <clears throat> isn't going to last as long but it is going to help kind of clean out your pivots because it's not really going to like goop it up 
and it also might push any bigger parts of or pieces of debris out of the pivots as such has happened on both my nemesis and my kraken trainer multiple times um but medium oil isn't is just kind of like the all-around oil it isn't going to help sound too much outside of a few cases like my nemesis um but it is going to make your ballast song just feel i feel like it's supposed to the swing is going to be pretty good in fact very good it doesn't really slow it down too much and it just makes everything feel ever so slightly more solid not as solid as a thick oil would mind you but just a little bit more solid um, and it is personally my favorite thickness of oil on specific ballast songs but we will get into that later finally there is thin which i don't have too much experience with i tried it at blade show tried kpl thin and it, I'm not the biggest fan. It doesn't help sound basically at all. It dries up really, really quickly, like within a few hours quickly from my experience. And it does not help your tolerances at all. It's going to feel just as bad as it would dry. But what it does do is it does, I think, really speed up your pivots, makes them ever so slightly faster. So if you're looking for a more responsive ballast song, then Thin is the way to go. Thin is also going to permeate a lot more of the little cracks and crevices in there and get everything oiled up really nice. Which, when you're using maybe a carbon honey with the graphene, might be what you want. Uh, but lube is just so subjective. So many people are like, oh, this is the best lube, I will only use this. Oh, this is the best lube, I will only use this. And in buying both of these, I have found that that is just not the best way to go about it, at least for me. I've found that the best way to go about it is to use different oils for different ballast songs. For example, as I've said, I've used, I use Carbon Honey in my Nemesis. It makes it, it keeps that responsive swing, makes it sound a little better, helps the tolerances a tiny bit, but I'm not too concerned about tolerances on a titanium knife, and just makes it feel really, really nice. I use thick oil on the vault, something that needs a little help with tolerances, needs a little help with sound, and doesn't perform too much worse with a thick oil kind of slowing everything down in there. I personally really like thick oil on the vault. I also use thick oil on things that are supposed to sound really good, like the Prisma. Obviously the Prisma, probably one of the best sounding ballast songs in my collection. Um, and it does slow it down a little bit, which I don't super like, but the sound and the increase in tolerances is just my favorite. And that is, that's, that's what I, what I use. I don't really think one of these is better than the other. I don't really think you can compare them because this is thick, this is thinner. But what I do know is that I love both of them for different applications. And I think that's kind of the best way to go about it is don't just use and have one lube, have multiple at different thickness levels and you will be fine. I think it's, a really really good idea to experiment as with any other thing in the ballast song hobby experiment and see what you like best um but i think that's pretty much it as far as any little details that i missed let me know your experience in the comments with the lubes what you like and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace out